to do to me to spark fuck, but I don't usually deny. I admit the no doubt. No, no, no. Step out, show me what you all about. Fingers in your mouth, open up your blouse, pull your jeans down south. Ow. Put that back out in the parking lot. Buy a Cherokee and a green drop top. And I don't stop until I hook jeans, skirt, butt neck, it all works. You nasty boy, you nasty. 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 To the end of me being the man that I am. Took it to her condo, parto, half Indian. I call the tarto, go the crumb crumb in the dark parto. Few puffs, eyes I know, and off to the bedroom we go. Set to drop, head to trump, flip the job, come stay till tomorrow. Satisfying all my new flights. Some with clean handcuffs and tight. The big nice, big, I don't care what the fuck I'm looking for. What, what? For me, yes. What's up? What it do, Cyber World? It is your girl, the one and only Ash Said It. One Love Ash across social media. <clears throat> one Love Ash across social media. What's up, you guys? What's up? It's a beautiful Friday. It's, you know, the temperatures have dipped down again. As we are so used to Georgia and its bipolarness. I believe that Georgia is bipolar. I know that they say, oh, it's all over. Everybody's giving crazy weather all over. I believe Georgia is the most random, craziest weather. I do. I believe that wholeheartedly with my entire heart. Um, yeah. I totally feel that. So, yeah. Georgia and its craziness. I'm supposed to be going out to exercise. Um, I think class is going to be canceled today. Especially if we were supposed to be on the top of Stone Mountain. Mm. I don't see that happening with Breezy. I don't see Breezy up there on top of the mountain in this freezing cold weather. So, we gotta figure out some alternatives. As you know, that's, you know, I'm the queen of doing. Figuring out alternatives. What else can we do? What other than this can be done? So, we're gonna work on some, uh, some other stuff. But, um, I know that a lot of people are struggling through stuff trying to figure out stuff. I know everybody's, you know, oh, empowerment, be an entrepreneur, blah, blah, blah. Honestly and truthfully, entrepreneurship is not for everyone. It is really not. You cannot make it work for you. It has to be something that naturally flows. I know of a lot of people that are claiming to be bosses, claiming to be entrepreneurs, but don't even know the meaning behind it. They don't know the drive required to make a business a success. They don't know. What they're doing is they're seeing everybody else's success, they're seeing everybody else branch out and do what they want to do and make it profitable, and they feel as though they can do it the same. No. Sometimes some of us do not just have the gift. Some people were made for 9 to 5. They were. Some people can't think on their own. They just can't. So they need someone else to tell them what to do, when to do, what to do. And Entrepreneurship is not for everyone. For me, I think that I always knew that it wasn't, that working a nine to five job was not gonna be the ticket for me. I think I knew that a long, long time ago, but I never, I didn't know how to really put it into words. And I didn't know what entrepreneurship was and I didn't really know what I wanted to do I know that I wanted something that was going to be mine I remember saying that in school when I, I wanted to have my own business but I didn't know what type of business it would be um, and I, I think that it helped a lot that I did the 9 to 5's because it really showed me what I did not want to do with my life and how I did not want to spend my years but being in my purpose now is amazing. It's nothing short of amazing. Uh, I would never trade it for anything, ever. Uh, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. But I know that I was never meant to fit the typical cookie cutter nine to five job. I made things work because hey, we all need money. Let's keep it real, let's keep it 100 but I knew that I did not belong in the workforce. It just was not, it wasn't for me. It 
just wasn't for me, so that's pretty much the story of everything that I need going on and everything that needs to be going on, but um, yeah, so your girl is still working, as usual, you know, I don't stop, I don't quit, and I said it don't stop, it don't quit, of course, the Natural 101 event, that is March 26, 2016. We're getting ready for that. We've got a lot more sponsors that have come through. The Swag Bag sponsors, thank you, everybody that's been sending in their stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're making up these gift bags, and it's going to be phenomenal. Phenomenal, phenomenal. So I cannot wait to share it with you guys and let you guys know exactly what's going on. And sharing with the event with you guys. I'm looking forward to the event as well because, like I said, I have three licensed cosmetologists that have over 25 years of experience each. And they're going to share with everyone their take on the whole natural hair journey. You know, what it means to be natural. What is virgin hair? Questions that people have. So... I'm looking forward to that because it's going to be a lot of fun. We're giving away tons of stuff. We're giving away a colonic. We're giving away a foot detox. We're giving away all kinds of products. And these are locally grown. If not local, then they may have actually shipped this stuff in, which is amazing. <laughs> so I think that it's a big plus. It's definitely a big plus um, to really let people live in their purpose and to have people share with you what they love in life so I wholeheartedly thank all of the sponsors that have contributed to the natural 101 event which is just so many people I just want to say thank you thank you thank you to each and every one of you because you've helped me to take my vision from just a vision and just something that was specific to my own thought process and you've helped it to become a reality so I'm excited I'm super duper trooper uber excited about that and we're making some, some huge strides people we're making some big things happen big things is popping big things is popping and I cannot wait I cannot wait with everything y'all <laughs> we will see what is happening so it's every tank every tank not everything every tank so I'm excited super duper trooper excited and um, hopefully I should have a little trip coming up soon we'll see what happens with that yeah <sighs> oh my goodness yeah so your girl is definitely putting in overtime triple time all kinds of time and there's 10 million things going on tomorrow I'm teaching a course for Emory University that's going to be pretty awesome it's about HIV and AIDS awareness um, in the community so the fact that they actually got me teaching y'all that is huge like who does that I didn't know Breezy teach uh, that's a horrible grammar I didn't know that Breezy taught <laughs> I did not know that Breezy taught so Quite interesting. Quite interesting. Yeah. I don't know. We shall see, we shall see, we shall see. 2016 has shown a lot of growth, a lot of newness of life, and uh, a lot of opportunities have presented themselves in 2016 that uh, probably wouldn't have seen otherwise. I'm not gonna lie about that. Probably would not have seen otherwise. And um, I definitely want to give a shout to Earth, Wind, and Fire. They lost uh, their lead singer a few days ago, and um, Mr. Maurice, uh, rest in heaven, brother of the founders of, I mean, an, uh, an entire era. I mean, it just really was huge, huge music, and 
they were still touring, you know, well into their 60s and 70s. And um, he's definitely going to be missed. But a pioneer in music. And uh, we, we salute today, Earth, Wind, and Fire. And um, that's pretty much it for right now. So I want to just continue to thank you guys so very much for all of your support, all of your love. It has not gone unseen and has not gone unacknowledged. If, I, if it feels as though I've, I've not acknowledged something, it's because I probably have not seen it. Um, it's a lot of work. I said it is a lot of work. A lot of people say, oh, I'd love your life. I'd love to do what you do. And you have to sacrifice a lot. And you have to be okay with that sacrifice. And I am. I'm totally at peace with it. Um, so I think that... People need to understand that um, entrepreneurship, it is, it is a choice, it's the more difficult choice, and you have to be okay with failing, because you're going to fall a lot of times. Before you're able to, to actually run and pick up speed, you're going to stumble, you're going to fall, you're going to lose balance, more times than I really could even tell you. You have to be prepared for those falls. You have to be. Because if you're not, you're going to be shocked, you're going to be disappointed every day. <laughs> Expect the fall, especially if it's something new. Expect the fall. Don't give up. Try, try again. Find something new. And that's really a lot of what it comes down to is you have to continue pushing, continue going, continue thriving. A lot of people want the easy route and oh, this works better this way or that works better that way. No, how about you continue pushing forward? How about you make it work? What works for one person won't necessarily work for someone else. Do not compare your journey to someone else's journey. It's two completely different people, two completely different situations, two completely different lives. There really can be no comparison. So continue fighting a good fight. Live your life the way you want to live it, not the way that others tell you to live it. People are always going to have an opinion, always. They're not going to never have an opinion. They're always going to have an opinion. So just... Do what makes you happy. Everything else can be figured out later on down the line. But do what makes you happy. And don't let other people deter your dreams. Don't let other people uh, bring their negative cloud around you. Don't let them do it. Because once you let them bring their negative clouds towards you, they've already won. And you've lost. When you let somebody have the pen of life, the pen of your life, and writing in your, your book, your, your life book. It's over, it's done. So continue pushing forward. Find what brings you joy and make it work for you. That's it. That is it. So I'm on my way, darlings. I'm on my way. Yes, I am. And uh, we have plenty more to do. So go check out ashsetit.com. Go check out ashsetit.com and follow what's going on on the site there. We should have some new blog posts, some new features. Yeah. And yeah, that's it. So ashsetit.com. If you got questions, comments, concerns, info at ashsetit.com. That is info at ashsetit.com. You can give us a call, 1-800-274-4936. That is 800-274-4936. And, of course, across social media, I am One Love Ash, the number one love ash. All together, no dashes, no slashes, no fancy stuff. That's just your girl, 101. Yeah, the natural 101.eventbrite.com. Yeah, Shen. I'm going to see you guys March 26th with your beautiful faces and yes we will be filming and yes we will have separate repeat and yes we will have snacks so come through show your girl some support i'll show you some support i'll let y'all deuces